Hey guys, coming to you live from my garage, uh, talking about Element, L-M-N-T. So, question becomes, how much sodium do we need in our day-to-day -day life? And there's a lot more to Element, there's a lot more to electrolytes, there's potassium, magnesium, very important to discuss. But let's talk about the sodium piece, because that's the biggest one people tend to get caught up on, which is totally normal. Um, one of the main other electrolytes you might see is liquid IV. They have those at Costco that only have 500 milligrams per serving. We need to understand how much you're taking in with your food and also how active you are. Those are the two biggest pieces to consider when we're talking about a supplement, which was what this is. All right, there's many other ways to get potassium, magnesium. I get at least one of these a day living here at Altitude in Colorado. It's very important that I'm getting at least one. And then for every hour of sweaty exercise I do, I take a second one. And again, my diet is pretty low in sodium. If I happen to be out eating any kind of fast food, and I don't know the last time I've had fast food, but uh, even at a restaurant, sometimes those foods are very salted. We don't always know how much sodium is in there. So gotta be a little careful with your sodium. It doesn't have as much impact on blood pressure as many are led to believe. That's a bit of a myth in the science. If you actually look at the research, um, having high sodium in your diet might only increase your blood pressure a few points. Again, if you do have medical issues, I'm not saying disregard that, but something to consider when people are having these conversations, because I have these conversations all the time, especially having worked with Element and continuing to work with these guys. Check out my link down below, drinklmnt.com slash fitcare, my business. So, Let's talk about this. Again, government recommendation is 2,300 milligrams per day of sodium. That's at a minimum to stay alive, basically, so you're not deficient in anything. Um, when we sweat, we lose sodium. So if you're sweating at all, very important to up that number. For active people, if you're relatively healthy, and again, I would think if you're watching this, either you're trying to get more healthy or you're a pretty healthy person, um, either way, the recommendation that Rob Wolf, the one of the main founders, I, I forget his exact title, sorry, Rob, um, had him on my podcast, go check that episode out. Um, but yeah, he's a biochemist and he talks about getting 5,000 milligrams per day. Um, so this is just a piece of that. So you can salt your food as well. Himalayan sea salt, all these different things are great to add in. Um, but for every hour of activity, I have triathletes that I work with, uh, that I work with on a physical therapy side and I talk to them about their element. And if they're riding their bike for five hours, which sounds crazy to some of us, even to me, um, it's not crazy, but it, it just happens that way. Um, but yeah, they're drinking one of these for every hour of that bike ride and it keeps them going. And they are less likely to cramp up. A lot of cramps come from a lack of electrolytes. So if you're thinking about trying it, make sure it fits into your equation. I'm happy to discuss that with you if you wanna jump on a call of where that fits into your overall fitness regimen, things like that. So. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, if you want to try it out, my link, drinklmnt.com slash fitcare will get you a free bonus pack of all the flavors. So we kind of have all the flavors up here somewhere. Um, all right, so check it out. If you have questions, leave it in the comments or reach out to me directly. I'm happy to answer. Talk to you guys next time.